So, what's up guys? My name is RJ and welcome back to the channel today. I'm doing the quarterly year um, book tag. I was tagged very kindly by uh, Fina over at Fina Reads. I'll link her video down below. Um, so she tagged me to do this. So let's, yeah, let's just get into it. It's 10 questions. It's fairly easy and I think it's a good way as well to just to give you guys sort of my views on the books I've read so far in this first quarter. Um, I think this is a good idea, so I might start and do like the wrap up and the TBR videos. I might do those like quarterly or like seasonally and sort of split those into two videos. I think that'll be more interesting. Um, it'll give me more, maybe slightly more to talk about and um, yeah, I'll feel like I'm not confined by every month um, to a TBR. I think quarterly, I think it'll be much more easier and it'll be a much more uh, breathing room. Uh, for books, so let's go. Uh, let's start with them. Um, question one: How many books have you read so far this year? Um, so I've read, I think, fourteen. I think that was the last time I read. I think yeah, it's fourteen. Um, which is not as much as I've seen people say that they've already read. But again, I don't read that much. Um, or I don't read as quickly as some as some other people, but. And as well, those um, a lot of those books were chunkers, so I would say at least a good two-thirds of those books were like 500, 600 pages at least. So yeah, um, but 14, that's, I think that's a, that's a decent number. I'm on track to beat it, to beat my totals for the last two years, which were 27, 28, so we're on good course. Question number two, have you already found a book that you might that you think might be a 2022 favourite? If not, what is your favourite book that you've read that is not quite five stars? Um, I would say I have had two uh, kind of five star books uh, this year, which are uh, which are obviously The Grace of Kings by Ken Liu and A Little Hatred by uh, Joe Abercrombie. So I would say if, I were, if the year would end now, what would be my favourite book of the year? It would be a toss up between one of those two. I think Grace of Kings would edge it over a little hatred but um we'll see uh we'll see how the rest of the year pans out but it's been a good start to the year you know i haven't had a lot of um i haven't had really any bad reads or reads that i didn't really enjoy you know i haven't had a lot of those so i'm very grateful for that <laughs> that i'm able that i've you know picked up so many good books so far um uh, question number three, any one star books slash le least favourite book so far? Um, I'm not going to count DNFs in this because if I counted DNFs we'd be here all day. Um, <laughs> um, so I would have to say um, House of Chains. House of Chains would be my least favourite. It's not a one star book. It's the weakest book I've found in Malazan by, by far you know, so far in my journey uh, through the series, but I think it's it's a book I've heard. I think on a reread, it's going to be it's the one that will benefit the most out of it. Um, so that's, that's what I've heard, that's what I've caged anyway um, by, by fans of the series that they say, House of Chains. I think it does get it will get better on a reread, so yeah, I think that's just true from Lazen in general, but particularly um, House of Chains. Uh, question number four, what is your most read genre so far? Um, it's fantasy. <laughs> All of it's fantasy, pretty much. I think the only book that I haven't read that's uh, fantasy is like Empire of Silence and that's like half fantasy. It's like sci fantasy, whatever that is, but um, yeah, so <laughs> it is predominantly fantasy. Um, I do want to branch out and read some historical fiction as well. Um, I do plan on, uh, there's a there's a lot of series uh, that I plan on doing that, but that's, I'll go more into that too. Um, I think a later question. Um, so question number five, what is a book that surprised you? Um, that surprised me in, in a very, in a very good way was, um, was actually A Touch of Light by uh, Chiago Abdallah. I think that book 
was I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. I was expecting the book to be like uh, I was I was obviously in there with an open mind, you know, and I think, you know. When it comes to like self pub or fantasy books, I try I try generally to go into books feeling somewhat the same. Obviously, you know, you, you feel like that most of the time, but you try and go in there sort of with a level mindset just to go into the book and see uh, kind of see what you think of it. And I think this um, and a touch of light was is really, really good. Um, if if you guys haven't read it, please please go read a touch of light. It's only four hundred pages and you know it it only has three POVs as well. So you're not like having these multiple POVs and you're not following an entire class of people. You know, you're just following these three and each of those characters has done very, very well. So yeah. Um if you haven't read it, go read it. I have an interview with the author himself on the channel as well. Um a really a really great and intelligent guy so yeah if you haven't read it uh please go do let's see question number six what was a 2022 release already out that you want to read but haven't yet um 2022 release ah oh, hunger of the gods i have to read shadow of the gods though first um so that's one i'd like to read but you know with bloodsworn i'm thinking about waiting until book three comes out to just just binge through bloodsworn uh, question number seven. One goal you've made that you're succeeding at? Um, I don't know. I didn't really... Um, I have to think back. I have to think back to that, to, to the reading plans video that I did. Um, well, I would say I'm, I'm reading more. I think that's, I think that's a good thing. I'm reading more than I would have, um, Say before booktube, as I say, um, I think 27 books I've been at the last two years have been the exact same total. So, yeah, I'm I'm pretty pleased about that. That I'm basically halfway through, and it's the end of April. So, I think that's um, I think that's a good one. Um, that's a good goal that I've been that I've been doing well at. I would like to reach 40 books this year. I think that's a good target if I read if I get past somewhere between 30 and 40 I'd be happy with um, but 40 is is the big goal question number eight one goal you need to focus on a bit more um, I would say just branching out a bit more I've read Empire of Silence but that's not really um, yeah that's not really um, branching out as much um, as I would like to, historical fiction is the is the one that I really want to get to. Um, um, one of the series that I would like to get to is um, so there's a few series I want to get to. I want to read Bernard Bernard Cornwell uh, this year. So Warlord is the one that I do want to get to. But I also got this series. I find it, and I don't know if anyone's ever heard of it. Um, I just so happened to have it here. I didn't plan on this, so it was um, it wasn't really planned, but um, it's called the the Grail Quest trilogy, and um, I don't know if you've seen this. So this is the first book, Harlequin. Um, I think this is sort of based during the Hundred Years' War. Um, I would like to get I would like to get to this maybe, um, because I've heard really good things about um. Warlord is I would like to save that and maybe start off with a series that's not as well known from them. So yeah, I don't know. If any of you have read um Grail Quest or Harlequin, um let me know. Uh because um that may be one I would like to start off with because it looks interesting. Um The other one is um the Conqueror series by uh Con Eagledon. Um, he's uh, this is his series based on Genghis Khan. I'd I'd really love to read that. So, so there's a few there's a few series. Um, obviously I plan on reading Shogun at some point uh, this year. I'd like to get to that. So there's a there's a few historical fiction books I'd like to get to. Um, you know, but we'll see, we'll see where we go. 
Question nine, any new to you booktuber, bookstagrammer, book talker that you find in 2022 and re would recommend? I want to pick two for this one. Um, so the first one would be um, uh, Kayla from Kay's Head and Shelf. She started um, her channel in January um, and she is putting out some amazing, amazing content over there. Um, she's got a really good review for the grace of kings um so yeah i would recommend her channel very highly very sort of well spoken and i love you know the way she delivers her reviews is absolutely fantastic so i definitely recommend um going to her um and then the other one he started his channel um a few weeks ago and i would like to recommend him and that is alex from uh tall guy reads um awesome guy um he's um again he's someone who i really enjoy his reviews he's got a review for um he did a review for hunger of the gods and he did a review for red rising both think that are very very good you know he's very he's very well he can how should i put it um he structures his reviews very very well and uh is definitely someone i would recommend um as an up and up and coming uh a booktuber so um definitely give those two um uh definitely check those two out and subscribe to them if you haven't because they're both amazing um and of course question 10 is to tag some people so those two are tagged kayla and alex use are both tagged um and then who who else am I going to tag? I'll tag someone else. Um, I'll tag. I'll tag Baron. I'll tag Baron. Um, yeah. So. Um, so that's it um, for this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Slam.